I haven't watched it, you know, so I'll look at it. Uh, I, I know from just seeing it live, uh, Morris fouled Joker, then Joker went and pushed him from behind, and then all hell broke loose. But um, I'll have to go back and look at the film. Um, I, I think the referees uh, did a good job of breaking it up and trying to re, you know, restore order. Um, you know, it's um, somewhat of an ugly end to a great game for us, but, you know, we're not going to allow that to take away from the win. Um, you know, Miami is a really good team. And, and I felt our defense tonight from the get-go uh, was terrific. We were flying around. Um, that's, I think, our seventh game, maybe, that we've held our opponent under 100 points, which is incredible. Uh, we are rebounded them by 12. And, and to hold them to 96 points and 39 from the field and, and to only give up six offensive rebounds for nine points against a team that is number one in that category uh, is a testament to our guys' readiness to play tonight. Uh, and I thought our bench was terrific as well. Well, I mean, we've been doing that, you know, I mean, we're the, have the number two defense in the NBA. So I, I think, to be honest, Katie, I think we've been defending at a high level the whole season. Um, and Miami presents a lot of problems. You know, they have two guys in Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero who garner just constant attention and catch and shoot. Uh, you have the, one of the best players and best one-on-one -on -one players in Jimmy Butler. And then you add Kyle Lowry and Bam Adebayo to the mix. So that is a really deep and talented team. But... You know, I think our guys were ready for the challenge. And, you know, it's just another example of, uh, you know, no Jamal, no Michael. Uh, we just have other guys step up and, and, and never, we don't waste a moment on the excuses and who's not available. We worry about who is and how we're going to fight and go out and get a win. And uh, we're able to do that tonight. Well, we were, I was concerned with, with their, their rebounding, you know I mean? So we could have gone a couple of ways. We could have started PJ Dozier like it did in the second half uh, of the Houston game. Um, but I, I wanted to try a big lineup, slide Aaron. Aaron's versatile. He can play um, three, four, sometimes a backup five. Um, and then just get, you know, you have Aaron, Jeff, Nicole out there. I felt that was really going to help us on the glass. Uh, and it did tonight. Again, 49 to 37 plus 12 rebound margin is terrific. Um, but Jeff also knows how to play. I think Jeff uh, ripping and slipping, moving without it, just making high IQ type plays. And when you have a great passer like Nicola, who, who had his first triple-double of the season tonight, I believe it's his first, you know, um, when he's got options like that, you know, he's going to make the right play. So, yeah, I thought Jeff was really good. And, you know, again, I thought that bench unit was really good as well. I'll concern myself when they tell us he's suspended. You know, I'm not going to waste any of my time, you know, um, you know, looking at the, my crystal ball and my tea leaves. I don't have any of that. So he's available until they tell me he's not. And, and I don't see any reason why he wouldn't be available Wednesday night. The bench had better penetration getting to the rim. Than the other what do you think they gave tonight that was different from the other games? Yeah, well, I think when you have uh, Bones, Austin, PJ, you know, that's three guys that, um, and, and we were playing PJ as a back of four with that second unit with Jermichael at the five. So you had four smalls out there that could just push, attack, get into the paint uh, with one true big and Jermichael Green. Um, so, uh, and I thought Jermichael's nine to five were great tonight. PJ had eight rebounds. I thought, you know, he's, he's so versatile. That's why you love PJ Doge. He can play different positions. But I felt having um, four ball handling, attacking guards on the court at one time makes that group harder to guard. Oh, I would say, you know, when you hold a team like that, who is, I think, third in offensive efficiency uh, to only 96 points and 39 from the field, um, you like uh, our approach, you know, that, that we came in. You can have any game plan in the world, but unless you execute that game plan with force and a sense of urgency, it's not going to work. So I felt from the get-go, our guys were prepared and ready to play. Um, you know, I think going into the fourth quarter, they only had seven threes for the game. We gave up six in the fourth, which is something that we have to clean up and we will. Um, but, 
they only scored 26 in our paint. They only had nine uh, second chance points. So it was one-on-one -on -one containment. It was three-point defense. Uh, it was limit limiting them to one shot. Um, so it was, I think when you have a game like that, it's really uh, everything uh, you're impressed with, you know, from each individual and then how they work collectively together, five guys working as one. Uh, and that's when we're at our best. Um, obviously, Will's been great for us. I mean, uh, you know, tonight, 25, 6, and 5. Um, you know, after that first game in Memphis, you know, that was, you know, Will's you know, worst game of the season. And, uh, you know, we had practice the next day, and I sat down and talked with him for a while. And what I love about Will is he's honest, and he owned it. And, you know, I just reminded of him, him of the, his importance. And, I mean, he literally impacts the game in so many ways every night. Again, tonight, scoring, rebounding, assists, hit some big, big threes down the stretch. They're, they're right there. You know, they're right there to maybe cut it to single digits. And Will hit a couple of big, big shots. Um, so he's not afraid. And I've been running him a lot of minutes. And he's being tasked with the responsibility of guarding other guys, high-level players, which is hard work. And he's also got to help carry us offensively. That's a lot for one player to do, but Will has not shied away from it. So, yeah, we are six and four, and, uh, you know, Will's been a very big part of um, our team and our early, you know, season success, I guess you could say. Because this was uh, such a good win, does it feel like it could be a big momentum-type win to get you going and just knock off the Yeah, you hope so. I mean, obviously um, – you know, we don't prepare or approach any team differently based on records. You know, for us, we pre prepared the same way for Houston as we did for the Miami Heat and the same thing for Indiana coming in here on Wednesday night. Um, so, you know, th this was obviously um, a great blueprint to build on, you know, and, and hopefully our guys understand why you win and why you lose in this business. Um, and hopefully we can replicate this, you know, as consistently as possible moving forward. All right, appreciate it. Go Broncos.